Julien Gonin is traveling in southern Benin. He's an ornithologist, just like his father, who passed on his love of studying birds. This is the second time Julien has come to Benin, which features an especially rich bird population. In this part of the country, much of life takes place on the water. Bonjour, bonjour. Along with his colleague, Fabien Mercier, Julien is looking for a particular species of bird, the very shy and rare Anambra waxbill, a type of finch. We're going to the place where I spotted this bird for the first time four years ago. I didn't expect it here at all, but there it was. I was really surprised to see that bird here. I immediately opened my book and it was the right one. But according to the map, it shouldn't even be here. It was a really special feeling for me. The pair spent four years collecting money and preparing for the project. Now there's a lot at stake for them. Will they find the bird? And if so, how many of them? Their search begins. To the locals, the European scientists are exotic. I find it amazing that this white man has made such a long journey just for a bird. He came from so far away just to see a bird. I find that really strange. It's a very small bird, only about 12 centimeters long. It has a curved beak it uses to eat the seeds that grow here. Its beak is orange. It's a very pretty beak and it's a nice contrast to its grey head. And it's the only member of the Astrilda genus with a white iris. Several hours pass. And then there it is, the Anambra waxbill. A whole flock in the grass. This is the first footage ever shot of this species. The local residents aren't all that interested in the birds. Today is market day. People here make their living from agriculture and fishing. There aren't many visitors. There used to be a few tourists, but fears of Ebola and terrorism in neighboring countries are keeping them away. Maddie Tapalo has noticed that. Her business isn't going as well as it used to. My husband's a fisherman, but he also does a few odd jobs so we can earn a bit of extra money. Five o'clock in the morning, Fabien and Julien have returned to where they saw the birds the day before. They're in a hurry. They're eager to catch the birds. We've put up six nets. Daybreak is coming, the birds are waking up, and we have to get back to the boat. Now they just have to wait and prepare. A scale and other measuring instruments, needles for taking blood samples. They have everything ready. Julien and Fabien were successful. Now they have to carefully remove the birds from the nets. I'm shaking. It's the first time I've held one of these birds in my hand. It's very emotional, catching my first waxbill in Benin. It's an adult, wonderful. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. I picked these red sacks because they match the red beaks. <laughs> The nets have caught 25 Anambra waxbill, many more than the scientists had hoped to find. 
Are these birds from Nigeria, where they're in danger of extinction? Or are they native here? The habitats are similar. It's especially important to measure the beaks. Then we can compare them to the beaks of the variety in Nigeria. It often happens that birds adapt to their environments, and you can see that in the different beaks or wings. The measurements are important to be able to make a comparison. Then they take blood samples for DNA testing, so they can determine conclusively if the birds in Benin are the same species as those in Nigeria, or if they belong to a new species. One last snapshot. Julien and Fabien make their way to the next place they think they might find the birds, just a few kilometers away. There, they meet rangers working for a small NGO that protects the animals and habitats around the river. <laughs> the binoculars are gifts to help them with their own observations of birds, including the rare Anambra waxbill. It's very important for us to meet our colleagues Camille and Georges because we're only here for two weeks and they'll be working here for several years. If we pass on to them what we know, they can use that. And then later we can exchange information in order to find out more about the Anambra wax bill. And the ornithologists hope they can also pass on their passion for these little birds with the bright orange beaks. The Anambra wax bill.